Hey guys, so it's time here to put my Precious up against the LG V10 uh, which is the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium uh, and I uh, wanted to check out the speed and camera performance here on these two so uh, everything's up to date on both of them and we're just going to basically uh, start them up here at about the same time so 3, 2, 1, let's go So this one should be quite interesting, uh, the performance on the V10 very good in general, uh, but the process is a bit better on the Z5 obviously. You can see the boot up very nice and quick here on the, the V10. My replacement back hasn't come yet, but hopefully it will. For now we'll just look at the front of the device. Uh, but you can see the uh, Z5 Premium not too far behind. Uh, before we start the speed test we can just uh, check out everything's up to date. So you can see Android 5.1.1 and updates. So, wow, not connected. I do notice the V10 takes a while to connect to the to the Wi-Fi, which uh, could be uh, improved, I think. So you can see, there shouldn't be any updates here for it. Same as well with the Z5 Premium. So, all up to date. And uh, let's just uh, start up some app opening here on both of them and see how they respond. Start with Twitter. Puff. LinkedIn. So straight away here the V10 is in the lead. Uh, so that is very nice. WhatsApp. A little bit quicker here on the left. So 4-1. 5-1 to the V10. Uh, we do also have the clock here on the right camera so it didn't respond let's try that again camera so quite similar there maybe the v10 but you know blink and you'll miss it uh, we do also have uh, the dialer a bit quicker here I think the uh, V10 is probably one of the most well optimized, heavily skinned device here, if you ask me. Uh, we do also have a game as well. Uh, I think it is uh, FIFA. Let's go. So slightly quicker here on the right I think, but not by a huge amount. Uh, so I think you can see in terms of the day to day, uh, the V10 at the moment seems to be that little bit quicker. Uh, it is what it is, even though you know I am Sony fanboy. Uh, LG does uh, do very good optimization here. But how can it compare when it comes to the the web browsing we can have a look here uh, so we can just go to GSM Arena go so straight away it seems the uh, V10 is loading 
stuff quite nice but the Z5 as well there with that Ling phone arena about the same there maybe the V10 slightly ahead but this definitely faster for the uh, link here uh, which failed on the V10 we do also have Verge well this came back then which is nice so the premium took that one uh, click on a link but going into it, it seems to be quicker on the V10 very back and forth here and uh, neither of them proving to be very decisive Potaku so slightly quicker to load the picture here uh, but you know not a huge difference really I think that uh, there's uh, very little difference here between these two which I was expecting the Z5 to dominate actually loading the stuff a bit quicker on this one which is nice but a little bit too back and forth for my liking really so I can't uh, give any point there unfortunately uh, we do also have some multitasking to check out here so Samsung failed hard when it came to the multitasking but can LG do a little bit better here so far it looks very good oh we do have a reload Z5 premium going ahead quicker with the keyboard on the right there Uh, not so much reloading on the V10 as the Note 5. You can definitely see LG is ahead here when it comes to the multitasking a bit. Uh, but against the Z5, I think that uh, the Z5 is still that little bit quicker. Uh, maybe the camera was a bit quicker there though on the V10 again. Music. So very similar, you know, and uh, apart from that one reload, well, it reloaded the game. Can't have that. So I think the Z5 Premium takes this round, which is very nice, uh, making it 1-1. Uh, if you exclude the browsing, uh, which is very nice, actually. You know, I think they're both excellent handsets here. Uh, I was expecting the premium to do better though when it came to the uh, web browsing, but props to LG for you know optimizing this device here. And we can have a look at the camera comparison uh, that I did do, and you can see you can see any differences here. So some nice uh, low light shooting examples with these two. And we just get it up on the Z5 Premium. Taking a lot of shots with this beauty. And we need to make sure we're getting the same set. Uh, so let's have a look here. Uh, there we go. So you can see uh, the uh, comparison here between these two uh, and as I said actually for the Note 5 comparison the Z5 Premium definitely uh, more impressive to me than the uh, Z5 I don't know whether you know they've optimized things since I reviewed the Z5 but uh, very nice low light performance on both of them here you can definitely see a lot of detail uh, as well as very little kind of blur that you sometimes get uh, you can see as well indoors in like lower light settings very comparable very little to differentiate them uh, but you know as I said I will you know blow them up on your screen so those of you who are more you know beady eyed can see if there's any differences here uh, personally I'm happy with both of them at the end of the day I kept the uh, Z5 on 
auto for most of them to be honest didn't have to mess around with the manual too much uh, so that is pretty good in itself uh, probably if I was going to nitpick the sometimes the shots on the V10 can be a little bit less contrasty than I'd like uh, I do notice very good contrast on the Z5 but then again I think the Bokka on the the V10 is a bit better which is like the blur effect for the macros uh, you can definitely see in the flower shots a very beautiful like Bokka effect in the background which is nice uh, but you can have a look at the video recording as well to see if you can see any major differences So as you can see here, you know, uh, the V10, very uh, competitive when it comes to the uh, camera technology here, uh, as well as the video recording, absolutely superb optical image stabilization, um, and uh, very uh, comparable to the Z5 Premium and its steady shot technology. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'd take either of them when it comes to the camera at the end of the day, both absolutely fantastic here. Uh, but you know they do have their slight strengths and weaknesses uh, I do like for example the pro mode that you get on the V10 which uh, allows a little bit more intricate control over things but then again I think the superior auto mode on the Z5 seems to be a little bit more intelligent uh, telling you what setting to put on when you're in like different situations which is nice uh, so as I said, you know, these are two uh, amazing phones here. I'll probably do another video, you know, properly reviewing them, checking out what the main kind of pros and cons are between them. But in terms of the speed here, you can see uh, the app opening goes to the LG V10, which is very nice and well optimized. A bit mixed for the uh, browsing and uh, the uh, multitasking, but I think the multitasking is slightly better on the Z5 Premium right now. So yeah, hope you uh, helped uh, you choose one of these. You know, you can't go wrong with either of them at the end of the day. Both fantastic devices. Uh, if you've got any questions, do send them through and I'll try and answer them if I can. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.